Hi, my name is Bryce Michael RC. Let's just say that you're brand new to 3D printing and you have a not so big print bed. You don't have a CRT, and you have a printer that has a much smaller bed. And so every 3D print that you go through to find in Thingiverse, because this is the most suggested website on YouTube, more than likely if you're brand new to 3D printing, you're going to go to Thingiverse and try to find a few things to print off. But you go through here and you're looking at cosplay helmets and things, and the helmets are just too big. When you go in there, let's say you put in a helmet. You want to do cosplay. Let's say Darth Vader. So you go through and you find you a Darth Vader helmet. Let's find a Darth Vader helmet. So you go in to download the Darth Vader helmet, and you've already gotten Kira, and you're playing around with Kira, and you've got your files for Darth Vader, and you open up, let's just open up, these all say Mesh Mixer, these are Mesh Mixer icons. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to use that here soon. Uh, if you've just got Kira, this will just have Kira icons on it. Uh, I'm going to find the... I'm going to show you a couple options that you can do. So Kira is like the easiest basic one. Kira is what I started out just kind of going off of. Putting all of my things that I downloaded from Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a widely used 3D printing model thing where most of the stuff is free. In fact, I think all of it's free. You put they people put it on there for you to just go in and kind of download the files and and do it's real simple. There's some other sites too, but I don't really know them. I'm brand, I'm brand spanking into 3D printing just like a lot of people. And so if you're watching this video more than likely you're brand new to 3D printing. So you get this, and you realize, crap, it's too big. So you've got a couple, you've got a couple options you can do here. You can go into Kira, you can go to scale, and you can put this down to, I think this one goes down to 88%, and that scales everything. And then move all this to zero. That way it centers the axis, is it X, Y, and Z axis. All zeroed out, and then it fits on. You can see it fitting. But let's say that's too small. You, you're you a bigger six foot person, you want the full size mask, right? Now you've got a couple options that you can do. You can go ahead and rotate this. And then you can move this down. And what I this is the center point, this green part here. See the green dot? All the axis has come from zero. And so what I did first, not not for the I, I scaled everything down. Um, for my Darth Vader helmet whenever I built it. But you, you, you have the option to do this, and then you can go ahead and scale it to, <coughs> let's scale it back to 100. I'm st I still think this might be, no, it's not too big. So, you can do that, but then, when you go to open files, if you're doing, it at, doing that at 100%, Let's say you want to do the top. I'm just going to file the new. Okay. So when you do the top, no matter how you slice it, say your 3D printer is too small. And this is one that you you just can't do 100%. You can't scale it at 100. It just doesn't work. 
move all these to zero. You can uh, try to turn it. No matter what, it is too big. So you're not going to be able to get this chopped up on Cura to the size that you want it to be. Uh, you can get basically the rest of the parts done that way, the easy way to, to cut them using Cura. There's also a much easier way to do this. Go to Mesh Mixer here. And I've got the Anycubic i3 Mega, so it's not in their selected printers. So I just went ahead and took it off. I kind of put it on a uh, here to eyeball it and see, get kind of an idea. So I'm going to move this around so I can get a better view of it. So now we've got the helmet like this. You're just going to go to edit, do a plane cut, and you could just do it kind of right in the middle. Just kind of guess. Do the cut type at keep both, and then accept, and then do another plane cut because that's, remember, half of it still isn't going to work. So we're going to put the other plane this way and do this and we're going to do the same thing. Keep both. Accept. So it doesn't look like it did anything, but you kind of, you got to come down here to separate shells. And it's going to separate all the shells over here. And you can see it highlighting the shell that it is. And so then you just highlight shell number one, you go to export, and you can change the name from helmet top bottom left. I think that's the one that's highlighted right now. and then just save it. We're not going to save it because I've already got it saved uh, in preparation for the video so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this and close it. Now you got to go through all four of these and export them. Click on them, export, click on export, click on an export. Now we can come in here and we find helmet top, right click, open with Kira and this one does have my printer bed on it so I can adjust everything to my printer bed. I can't press print from mesh mixer uh, with the i3 mega which kinda sucks but this is this is fine for me. Now you just take this I'm gonna give it a bit of a rotate so I can lay this part flat there we go all around it and that's just one corner of the helmet at a hundred percent you can kind of come over here to the side and set your stuff I've got my print bed is better at 50 come down here just do touching build plate it's gonna probably be the same thing it's, so it's not gonna change the, your your time down here too much and put that to none. And you can kind of make it as thick as you want and stuff like that. And then you just take this and and that's weird. It sticks up so much right there. Not weird. Cause it's just a tiny little bump. Let's try to see what that was. It totally doesn't stick up that far. Anyways, let's go to save to your re removable drive and pop it out and pop it in the printer and <clears throat> that little piece of print. The only thing that really sucks about this is you can see down here on your time it says 20 minutes. Uh, when I scaled it down 
when I scale the top down to 88%, which it will print half of at 88%, you can take it at 88% and then, uh, you know, say this is the full helmet, you can move it down half and then it automatically cuts it for you. Uh, so if you can fit the 88%, I would suggest doing that because two halves at 88% is actually way faster to print than uh, <coughs> this one piece right here. So you get two pieces at a faster rate than one piece. And you can do it with no supports and stuff like that. It takes like 10 hours to print. This takes 20 hours for this one corner. So kind of sucks. And with the size of this, you're going to need supports on this one. With the size of the one at 88%, I didn't need supports on it because it just didn't bend enough and, it, and it, you had both working from each side. Uh, you just you just didn't need it. If you have a smaller printer bed, you can scale it down and uh, keep it at 100% size. It's just going to take you a whole lot longer to print. A whole lot longer. Because whenever you start slicing these pieces up, uh, there's, there's a lot more edges and a lot more hang hangover that's not attached to something else but it might be worth it in the end because you might not want to print something at 88 percent I keep saying percent scaled to 88 if you want to scale it to 88 uh, it might not be the right fit in fact mine's got one more mine's got one more piece left to print and I still don't know if it's going to fit perfectly or not yet so just a little tidbit of advice uh, if I print another one, this is the way that I'm going to do it here. I'm just going to chop it up. I'm going to print each piece. Uh, in fact, I think what you could do, and this may not help any. Uh, I'm going to look at it from the top here. Let's go ahead and turn it this way. Move it up. Then over. might be able to open this is the helmet bottom corner so we'll, we'll get the other corner I think it might be overlapping a bit yeah, so let's take this let's turn it this way both on. They're not touching each other. It's probably going to take two days to print. <laughs> let's see. Let's let it generate the thing here. So this is still doing two at once. Yeah, one day to print. So you know, from And then you can always go and open, uh, let's say, there's some other files tusks. You can open these, just set them in here. You know, add them to it. So that's how you can do it, guys, if you have a smaller printer. Uh, it's Mesh Mixer, it's super easy to do. I haven't learned that much on Mesh Mixer, that's really basically all I've learned. And I've already started, I've already started printing the Darth Vader helmet scaled down, and uh, and cut in half using Cura and I, I did the Star Lord helmet by little tiny itty bitty pieces and stuff and instead <coughs> oops since I'm making it for my son it actually needs to be scaled down so we're actually going to go back to the Star Lord and redo it because it's just going to be better the way that we did it in the first place it, it fits a larger it, it's actually almost too big for me as an adult and so uh... I went through and split the... I went and found a, a whole helmet instead of all the tiny little pieces I went and found the entire helmet uh... and then I went in the mesh mixer and split it in half and then this is the yeah, this is the front. 
so I can lay it on its back. Move it to zero, zero, and zero. And see how it's too big? But he actually does need to scale down. And probably at like 77%. For some reason, mine won't move when it's on this, so I've got to put it on a movable window. Scale it down just a little more. Put this all at Z. There we go. Now let me go scale it to 74. Yeah, that should be good. So I mean if it's something for somebody with a smaller head, like a kid, if you're making a cosplay helmet for a kid, you can always scale it down, just kind of look at your build plate. It's this, My build plate's so small that it's easy for me to look at it, as this is the build plate. And then I had my son go up and kind of put his face down towards the build plate, and his face doesn't even take up from the top to the bottom, or side to side. And so you can kind of guesstimate where the sides are here in top and bottom and you can go in through here and scale it fairly easy so and if it still doesn't work you can take it in the mesh mixer and split this into four and put it up more so I mean that's if you have a smaller print bed that's the that's the easiest way to do it so anyways my name is Bryce with Michael RC hope you guys have a good one we'll see you guys later